welcome back to Gapy's Garden. Today I'm going to show you how I start my pepper seeds. So I use the paper towel method, so you have, if you haven't heard of that method, you can keep watching and I'll show you how to do it. So what you need is a plastic Ziploc bag, or you can use saran wrap, a paper towel, a spray bottle with water in it, a label that tells you which variety that you're planting, and this is a heat mat, and of course some seeds. So today I'm going to be starting some Carolina Reaper seeds. I got these from a friend at Google Plus who's hosting a Carolina Reaper pepper contest next year. So last year my seeds or my peppers didn't get have time to really produce much. So I'm getting them started about two or three months earlier than I did last year. So hopefully they'll do better. So first thing you do, I usually tear the paper towel in half. Pepper seeds aren't usually that well germinated, so that's one of the reasons why I like the paper towel method, so that you know which ones are going to germinate before you put them in the soil. So I'm going to start about eight seeds. I'm not sure what the germination rate will be, so um, we'll see how it goes. But just kind of separate them on the paper towel so there's about an inch or so of space between the pepper seeds and then fold the paper towel in half and then you could just spray it a few times with with water and I'll spray both sides of the paper towel okay and then you want to get your label place it inside actually you could just lay it on top I'm only planting one variety right now so it's not that important to have the label, but you can start several varieties and put them all in the same plastic Ziploc bag. So I'm going to put these in here. And then I have this thermometer for my heat mat so that it doesn't get too hot and it has this little probe here that you can put into the into the bag to control the temperature so I'm just gonna put this under the paper towel okay and then what you can do what I usually do is cover it with a blanket just to keep the light out and it also keeps it warm in a couple of days I'll come back and check on the seeds for germination Make sure you go in and check your seeds every day. There's a couple things that you need to check for. You want to check for germination. So just to open up your paper towel and just see if they're starting to grow roots. If they are, you can get those put into some soil. If not, you can put them back in and leave them for another day or two. One thing you'll need to check for is if the paper towel is dry. If it is, you want to give it a couple of squirts of water because it needs to be moist in order for it to germinate. And just put it back into the heat mat and check it again tomorrow. It's been a few more days, so we're going to see how our seeds are doing. I've actually got two varieties in here now, some Brazilian starfish along with the reapers. So here's the reapers. So we got one germinated, one that's just starting, another one. So. Looks like we got several that are ready to plant. I switched to my macro lens so you could see the seeds a little bit better. So it looks like about 75% germinated. Um, you can see the little white roots sticking out of some of the seeds. Not all of them germinated, but we did get a pretty good germination rate. Uh, the super hot peppers like the reapers generally take a little bit longer 
or may not germinate at all. So I'm pretty happy with the, the germination of these. So these are ready to go into some seed starting mix and I'll save that for the next video. Thanks for watching.